It's good to know we got another generation wanting to keep it going, I guess. <laughs> It's not really a popular thing right now with the way the dairy industry is for your children to want to do it because it's certainly not for the money. It has to just be for the love of it. Raising cattle is truly a labor of love, which the Duty family has passed down for five generations. I guess it was bred into us. I guess we bleed cows. I don't know. We've just worked around them all of our lives. Here at Tulip Pond Farm in Carroll County, David and Carol Duty, along with their daughter Kathleen Wassler, manage a herd of 400 cows on 155 acres. But that's not all. We rent a lot of neighboring acres and then own another farm about seven or eight miles away. We farm about 800 to 850 acres. It's a mix of corn, beans, wheat, hay, alfalfa, a mixture of all those. And most of it is used to feed our animals, cows, heifers, calves. The rest of it is sold for excess money flow to help with the bills. And of course, where there are cows, there's a lot of waste with a lot of animals. So it has to be taken care of and it has to be through soil conservation programs that they have. They can't leave that waste in the barn. It has to go somewhere. In 2004, the Duties built this second storage structure on their farm. Proper waste storage is part of the Maryland Department of Agriculture's water quality cost share program that helps keep excess nutrients, like those in manure, out of the Chesapeake Bay. This is the treasury, so to speak. This holds all of our liquid gold that they use as fertilizer. This is their storage container. They scrape their lots into this. Known as a manure pit, it's one of many best management practices that Tulip Pond Farm employs to protect nearby water quality. Manure management is very important. It keeps manure where it belongs, out of our streams and out of our waterways. It allows the manure to be stored and utilized at a convenient time for the farmer. Every time they milk cows, the duties have to clean up, which means every day, David scrapes, gathers, and scoops the manure into the pit. It's a messy job, but all this waste actually doesn't go to waste. One of MDA's slogans is, manure happens, and, and, and actually that's what does happen. One of those things that you know goes in one end, comes out the other end. Fortunately, we're able to utilize that as a resource and an input for our farmers to use in place of commercial fertilizer. The manure is kept here until the duties are ready to spread it in their fields to help grow their crops. It does have nutrient value. As I said, it has nitrogen, has phosphorus, has potassium. It also helps increase the organic matter of the soil. This free fertilizer helps grow more crops to feed the cows. It's a win-win for the duties and their neighboring farmers. Saves on a lot of fertilizer on the field, so you're not buying it. You're using the manure, and the manure is obviously your better bet of any kind of fertilizer. They also help aid in some money to actually haul it to other farms that's further away that makes it more reasonable, so you can utilize all of it. None of it goes to waste. While David secures their future investment, Carol and Kathleen are busy milking their immediate returns. The duties milk 164 cows twice a day. The milk is sold to the Maryland and Virginia Milk Producers Cooperative, eventually making its way to grocery stores in the region. So it ends up being in many different places, Giant, Weeses, Food Lions. So Maryland and Virginia takes care of that, but they're expanding their avenues to where the milk is and many more places, and that's what we need to survive. We need them to do that. Despite the challenges the dairy industry faces, the duties are optimistic. Hopefully the dairy industry will pick up and we just gotta stay positive, that's all you can do.